Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you've Carrots. all missed us. To Pathfinder Rise of the Rune Lords Burnt Offerings Episode 8 Part 1. I'm joined here with a bunch of horrible people. I definitely with them. <laughs> uh, we've got Alex playing... Dante. Uh, Philip playing... Yeah. Like this, right? oh, that's all good. good. <laughs> uh, Johan playing... He's too busy. Cray. To talk to us right now. Yeah, he's Great. talking to someone else. Darn. Best timing. And if you all remember last time, we all leveled up, so though in game the leveling hasn't taken place yet. Out of game. Well for Morgan probably because he's unconscious. Yeah, that Morgan counts as sleeping, wake right? Up. A well level, perhaps. <laughs> no, you just knock each other in the head when only the damage that we go down so you level up. So let's start. Close. Let's go Johan. Johan, tell me about your leveling up. What did you do? I took um, I took a bunch of skills. I took my level in Magus. Wait, didn't we actually do that last time? I think we did. We didn't go over it all, so just so <laughs> we, we didn't specify because, we because I had to leave. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. Yeah, I took my level in Magus, my fourth level in Magus, and I don't think I got that much. I just upgraded a few skills and. I think that's it. Okay, no new spells or anything? Um, I actually don't think I get any new spells. Okay. Let me look that up though. Philip, what about you then? Okay, um, I leveled up as uh, a Chevalier again. So I'm a level 3 Barbarian, level 2 Chevalier now. Um, so that means I get some really nice uh, abilities from the Order of the Beast, second level Chevalier. I can make thunder attacks, which basically are... I can make improved thunder attacks, just to destroy stuff, without taking an, an attack of opportunity. It's very nice. nice. I think and I got a level 2 spell. Hey, I'm glad you've come prepared, Johan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I got a level Johan, two get spell. Your shit together. To be fair, I did it last, last night... Well, I did it today at 3am or something like that, because I was on ca a caffeine. After the game. Job. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else on with you? Yep. Yeah, I I had five skill points to distribute. I don't know what I did, That's but fine. I That's fine. obviously did took right and I took a. F is it feet or trade? Feet. Did, did right? your feet, yeah. Did you get a feet at level two? Did you yeah. get a bonus one? Yeah. Uh, let me look at it. Where is it? Um, I have so many. What did um, your animal companion level up? Uh, I didn't give... Well, how... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Danny, how about you then? Um, I Alex. took my level in Rogue. So I went back to start. And uh, with that I get more various plus ones to things. He did um, and uh, I got the spe like special rogue things I got evasion, which means I can roll a reflex save against AOE spells. Even to ones that don't give you reflex. You even kidding? ones that don't give you a reflex save. Fireballs. Yep, pretty much. And I took uh, I also get a rogue talent which um I chose to take uh I did a few what did I choose? Where's my feats and abilities? Class abilities. What does it for then? Um, I took um, rogue class ability, rogue talent. I took sniper's eye. Uh, a rogue with this talent can apply her sneak attack damage on ranged attacks targeting foes within thirty feet that benefit from concealment. So if I'm in a flanking position with, uh, basically, it means I get my flank attack now, which is nice. Um, and I took. Uh, eclectic, which means I get to, as a feat, and that means I get to. Um, where's it gone? Uh, choose an additional favored class, need to gain plus one hit point and plus one skill point whenever you take a level in that class. Um, just as a, as a favorite, a favored class, and you get all the various bonuses that come with that. I took that in Gunslinger. And for my skills. Various bits and pieces and everything, but I also took um, some of my points in linguistics, and with that oh I get. Oh God! Did you learn Goblin? I learned Goblinoid. Hallelujah! 
<laughs> it's fine. Very man. nice. I so, think. if people are speaking Goblinoid, it doesn't mean I know the language, <clears throat> but it means that I. No, you don't learn Goblinoid. You learn Goblin, right? It's specific. It's down as Goblinoid from when I was looking through it, but I might be able well, to change right. that. Because Goblinoid isn't the language. Well, it's not that I speak it, it's that any Goblinoid languages I can make a linguistics check to try and understand what they're saying. So I don't naturally, I can't speak it, but I can try and understand it with a linguistics check. No, I don't think that's right. I think if you put linguistics, you automatically get the language. Yeah. Oh, really? Sweet. You can speak yeah, but... multiple languages. Uh... Then when when would you ever make a linguistics check? Though? Learn a language. Whenever you put a language a rank into the skill, you learn and speak and read a new language. Our linguistic checks are for forgeries, for unfamiliar uh, languages. Um, okay, so if someone's speaking a language I don't recognise, then I make yeah. a check against that. Or or an old, or a really old ancient uh, version. Yeah. But yeah, so that seemed pretty useful when I looked at it. So I'd so yeah, yeah, so you actually know Goblin. Not, I don't know why it says Goblin. I just should say Goblin. Cool. Ross, is the sorcerer a class that grants grants a familiar? I don't know. It says um, my familiar depends on the master's combined level and classes that grant familiars. So is that only magus or? I think it's only magus because you didn't. I think you could have took a familiar, but you took uh, then you take something else instead. No idea. Sorcerer can obtain a familiar. Oh my god, such great... Oh no. Well, let's continue where we left off, you can look that up. So, if we all remember, you just slain mighty... The mighty chieftain, war chief Rip Nugget. And how many shots, Ross? <laughs> like one. <laughs> then he raised again, <laughs> and then another. Um, with his pet gecko, Stickfoot, was the name. Killed that as well. <laughs> Killed that as well, very little HP. As well yep. as... You finally slew the druid that ran away from you previously, and Danny hunted down cruelly and with no mercy and murdered his, his arch goblin rival. <laughs> oh yeah, he murdered it so hard. By sticking his hand yeah. in his mouth. He he made a glove. He did. Yeah, That's I made right. a glove out of the goblin and ripped something <laughs> out of his insides, but yeah. So Borg That's... is currently <laughs> stabilized but completely unconscious, and Danny has just walked back through. <laughs> you know, into, into the room that's filled with blood and the stench of goblin death. Um, yeah, so, yeah. What would you guys like to do? Wow, well, that's uh, a good question. Cray, did you find anything interesting? I saw you searching the bodies. Um, I found... It's a... Ah, there it is. Um, we found a... <laughs> A wand of produce flame. Um, another wand I couldn't identify. I think magic one leather armor means plus one leather armor. No, oh, no, you don't know. You don't know what it is. It was magic leather armor. That the one is yeah, a mess. I think I, I didn't identify it. No. no. The ones that are that are names there are the ones he identified. Okay. Um, yeah, sling spear and a cloak of magic resistance. Cloak of magic resistance. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. Seems no, yeah, it's, no, it's a cloak of resistance. It's just magic. A magic cloak oh. of resistance. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can edit that if you want to. So plus one. Yeah, I'm just editing it. Um, then we found a magic word. Of Want of silent image, whatever that does. <coughs> Probably illusion thingy. Mm -hmm. um, da -da -da -da, delete the rest. Short bow. Who wants a short bow? Remember, all these nah. all these items are small. Yeah. No one Me wants too. a short. I'm I'm just deleting the ones we won't pick up, like a whip or something like yeah. that. Um, a masterwork breastplate for little people. <laughs> Might get a bit of value out of it. Don't know how many halflings are living around here. Yeah, so basically the interesting things were um, a magic sword, short sword again, and a dented crown, which we can sell, but which isn't worth much, and a key ring. Yes, with numerous locks on it. 
numerous keys on it. <laughs> yeah, 20 gold. Just who wants 20 gold? <laughs> I'll have 20 gold. Nah, we're, we're gonna pass it equally. <laughs> Everyone takes. Uh, Bargain, meanwhile, is. Uh, yes. Only you got potions. Everyone takes 6 gold. Oh, did you already use a potion? No. We already used about yeah, right. five potions on Go Forget. Two. Yeah, I used two of my. I used my. The okay, two. three. Three. So you two use two mediums and one light. Okay, everyone adds six gold to the inventory. Yep. Do you put that in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I should still nice. passed out. It's nice. Burger wakes up by a slightly jangly air pocket. <laughs> Well, I hope Crate doesn't take any from my gold because I'm the richest. Are you though? Yeah, but you also die well, all the time because you don't spend your money on armor. Well, I I just <laughs> bought the best medium armor I could afford, and now I have a heavy armor feed. Well, I don't know. It's it was kind of bad communication, but I I take the damage and I do the damage, so I don't think you should be complaining. Stand Bark at us, he's unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Borgut is having, like, uh, he's in his dreamland right now, sitting, you know, at a, at a fine dinner party on the opposite side, side of the table from Cray in a fine, you know, black dress, and they're having a serious talk. Why does about, Borgut wear a black dress? About, yeah, about Borgut's ex expectations and how he should... <laughs> Contract, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> well, I think we should head back to town. Yeah. We've searched everywhere in here, haven't we? There's numerous. There's one, two, three. There's two doors you haven't opened. Oh, yeah. Well, I, um, I think we should go and open the other doors first. We open this door. Okay. Do you use... Wait, the key ring? Yes, yeah, if the door's locked, we use the keys. Uh, <laughs> I'm not actually sure it is locked. I'm going to check it for traps first. Okay. Please roll me a check. 19. You don't spot any traps, and the door swings open unlocked. Without anything going off. I go in and open the other door, the one on the top. Okay. Da, 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 da. This is C20. Uh, this one is locked. Good thing you have a handy dandy key. Well, Ross. Right. Using the key chain, and yeah. you know, you spend a while going for all the keys. The door opens. What was what that, Philip? Um, I did. We say we are selecting more. I, I got a new animal trick. I can do that, right? Yes. Because yeah, okay, good. The yeah, bonus one, yeah, and also roll your HP because I went up in HP. Um, oh, how much do I roll for? Oh, yeah, it did D8. It automatically. D eight. Okay. Yeah. This foul-smelling butchery is a horrifying affront to all the senses. Haunches of poorly smoked meat hang from the hooks along the ceiling or lie heaped in and atop crates. In some cases the meat seems to be dog or horse, but in many other cases the meat has all too recognisable features like feet, hands or grimacing faces. The fate of, of several... Men or human? Uh, human. Of human or goblin? Human. Uh, oh, damn it. This food what store is... contains the goblins' favourite food, the meat of their vanquished enemies. The fate of several missing travellers and merchants is revealed here, though no single body is intact enough to be easily recognisable. Any? Are they still wearing clothes or anything like that with valuables no, in? No, it looks like they're all. So it's, it's like a meat Damn. locker in here. Um, like I down. take my earplugs out and put them up my nose. <laughs> yeah, so I can't that, smell. That's like. a great stench. That... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure well, that gosh. works. <laughs> and uh, uh, Ross, the other door. Yes. Uh, my horse should be level two, right? Yeah. Okay. So apparently it was already level two Shouldn't when we started. Well, no, I just did two hit dice before. Now all three. Ah, level because one starts with yeah. I send you the uh, because hit. right here it is um, the two hit dice. I only have on first level. I only have one hit dice. That that's one. that's not right. I sent you a link to it. Uh, let's see. This room contains a small. Wait, let me double check this three. Wait, where is Cray on the map? I have no idea where. She's back I'll... in the room. This room contains a small uh, armory of crudely made weapons, mostly dog that was a door by the way into that corridor. Mostly dog slicers and short bows, and several small goblin sized suits of studded leather armor and dented shield. So stow stand a pair of workbenches. Uh 
Is there anything of value in the room? You look around and you spy all of this stuff. <laughs> oh, fucking. That should be 80 arrows. Anything magic? There is a single masterwork dog slicer, which is the only interesting. Yeah, we'd take the masterwork dog slicer. You cast then. your detect magic and you don't. Nothing is revealed. Oh, yeah, let me select my spells for the day. Well, you, yeah, know, you haven't gonna... slept, you still have the spells from before. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. Yes, there's nothing of value in there. What about the door I spied down to the bottom here that hadn't been opened? Did I tell you about the door that you went into when you were chasing that guy? No, you didn't tell me about oh, the room. Oh, well, we should, we should go back and do that then. Yeah, so what's um, in this room? Several rugs made from dog or horse hide lie strewn over the dark floor of this room. Against the north wall stands an impressive collection of horseshoes, each nailed to the wall. To the east sits a ragged padded chair next to a rickety desk that may have once been an expensive antique. In the northwest corner sits a canopied bed covered with silk sheets and sporting an elaborately carved headboard that features nymphs and satyrs cavorting in a forest. The bed sheets are stained with dirt while the headboard is bad and battered. Uh, yeah, so you, you recognise the vest to be War Chief or Rip Nugget's bedroom. Would you say the um, the desk, the antique desk, is about to fall apart? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to start dragging it back to the city. Oh, no, it's, it's, a, rickety, could, it's a rickety. <laughs> it's a rickety desk. <laughs> you're, you're so funny. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Oh, throwback. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's great. Okay, uh, Borgit wakes up and comes and crushes your desk as you're travelling. <laughs> <laughs> there is some interesting treasure in this room. Uh, Such like. as? What you can spot with ease is a silver holy symbol of Lamashtu with a tiny garnet for eyes. Um, oh no, you, ha you don't spot that with ease. Sorry, never mind. Please roll me a perception I spot that with ease and pocket that. Please roll me a perception it. check. Wow, okay, I see so, that with ease. So you do spot that under the pillow, which is where it's kept, and you also notice uh, on the chair to the east, you find a large iron key wedged under the seat. I pocket right. the, the, the little pendant-y thing. The, the, and, uh, the holy symbols are 40 gold pieces, by the way. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, and then show, show create the key. Oh, so you get, you pocket the holy symbol without showing yep. it? Yes. And if you're yeah, in the room I, with me, I can make a sleight of hand check if you wish. Do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I should have been exploring together. Uh, okay. And you need to, I think you need to roll an opposed perception check, I think. Yeah, I believe so, that's right. Um, um, a fun cray. Well, but you're level 5. Cray should have about decent deception right now. Oh, right? Okay, please make your rolls, guys. Uh, just bear with me a sec. I need to check. <laughs> um, because, I, no, because I've got my wrist sheaths, I think that gives me a bonus to it. That doesn't 11! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, I don't yeah, see just um, I add the iron key to the key ring. Okay. Have we seen a lock of that sort of size anywhere Not in here? No. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what it's for. Hmm. Right. Um. So there's no. We've not recognised a lock that that could fit here. No, not not anywhere around in this room or in the others you've searched so far. Cool. Uh, there was that room. Oh, sugar. Uh, there was that like boarded up room outside, wasn't there? Yeah, and there was another. There was another door in that room as well. You haven't been. Where's the other door? And that, uh, and the opening where the dogs were. And the well, I'd imagine we would search the entire place slowly. While we're here, okay, so we're probably not gonna come back. Cray. Yeah. Uh, well, there was a cellar on a different map, so that might oh, be yeah. gigantic and filled with evil creatures. So I, we should um, search the upper part of the house, but then leave and go back, come back for the lower part. 
at some well, point. Well, we could like, even we could even rest here, like up in one of the towers, and just put something heavy over the trapdoor. Like Borgut. <laughs> like Borgut, yeah. We we not even have to rest in a tower because um, if we rest in a tower, then there's the possibility of something coming out and trapping us. But if we just nail or barricade the cellar door and mm -hmm. man, I could be so evil. I could be so evil. If we just barricade the cellar door, then we could um, just rest here and open the cellar door up once we're ready for it. Well, I think that it's. I, I think we're safer in the tower because we can okay. scale down the wall rather than if we're stuck in the cellar. There's no way out. No, no, not in the cellar, but oh. um, on top of it. Uh, just on this level, we rest and yeah. barricade the cellar door so no nothing can come out. Or we just barricade the door to the throne room and stay in here. Yeah, but uh, if we barricade the door to the throne room, if something is outside the door and we can't fight it, we literally have no way out. We can kill it, though. But if we can't if you're kill gonna it... you're going to stick around, you got to start hiding all the gear you've got. Be lifted to your weight in case you're encumbered. Well, I think we just leave that to the side for now, in a pile. Okay. Well, then if you ever say, I'm going to go use the wand to produce flame... Like run well, I've not I've not taken any of the wands and things like that. I, I did, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are still in this room. You haven't decided to search the rest of the upper floor yet. Yeah, do you want to search the rest of the floor, this floor, and then we'll start barricading things? And then spend the night? Yeah. Cool. So, how did I get outside again? Um, oh, wait. Um, there was still something left in this thingy? In this... Oh, there's still a door, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll open that one. Oh, right. shit. Uh, Ross, can you move me back? I've put myself out the map. Uh, over, over here. Um, so then yeah. Where, uh, where did you go? Off to yeah, the right. Off to the right. Oh my goodness! Danny, bad! I can't, couldn't just, see anything. It was yeah, you're lucky that you, so. you put yourself in a place you couldn't see anything. <laughs> You're oh, yeah, like the, in between the two bits. You saw the beholder, Dante. Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, I think we open this door. Yeah, we. It's already it's open. open. Yeah. Oh, it's back. To Where me. are the two dead goblins? Up, up, oh. up the top. I killed them in the tower. Ah yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay. So here we are. And this was the cellar door. No, that's the stairs up to the the tower. Ah okay. Then I guess we move back. Oh shit! Uh, oh, there's oh, no. a cellar. Yeah. That's the cellar, yeah. And there was still a door up here. Yeah, two doors. There's one closed? to your left, and that's, that's closed, yeah. I um, might try the keys. Uh, well, it opens, it's not locked. Oh, well. Okay. I have my rifle out at this point. Okay. <laughs> you shoot under the. Yeah, Where are you? Shit. Where'd you go again? Oh, there you are. You're right under. Here. Yeah, remember um, you press Alt. Yeah, I opened this thing as well. It's right between the oh. tiles. This. Yeah, thing, you have so to hold it. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh. So there's two doors. Two doors. Yeah. If you hold Alt, you don't lock ah, okay. the square. Shit. That really. <laughs> two <laughs> doors. Yeah, I just put myself on top of you so I don't see anything I shouldn't. Yeah. Okay. So I think we'd open one then the other. What one do you want first? Uh, uh, top one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Should lead out to the ocean or something like that. That'd be nice. Leads to yet another tiny small corridor. Can we open that door as well? There are two one. doors in this one. I get open one then the other. Okay. Hold on a second. What door do you want first? <laughs> the top one. Top one, you slide back the door, and there's a staircase descending into darkness. Descending, shit. And then the uh, other one. Then the bottom one. Uh, you open the bottom one. Could you both make perception checks for me? And you see the bathroom. This small, wow. foul-smelling room features little more than a reeking hole in the ground. It's rim-stained with refuse and waste. And, yeah, I take a piss while I've got the chance. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> that. I opened the door on the bottom. Okay. Ah, yes. Sorry to your rear. Oh, there's a dry, uh, the there's a shaman in the wall. Just <laughs> die. Ah, yeah. uh, that's the room. What number is that room? Is... Why are these rooms so small? A round table and a few chairs. It's made for goblins. A round <laughs> table and a few chairs at this room's only. You do. You feel cramped and stuff. And a few no, you chairs. said it oh, was... Oh, no, wait. It's not uh, made for goblins. Yeah, I don't know why. A few chairs are this room's <laughs> only furnishings. Uh, yeah, it looks like a small meeting room. Boring. Uh, and we run out again. Wow. Rip that percentage, Jack. Is that a door as well? Yeah, that's the boarded up door that's completely... This has got the two dead goblins in front of it. Yeah, wanna take a goblin weapon and just start hammering at it? The door to this outbuilding is nailed shut and additional boards have been nailed over these nails. The door itself is cracked and splintered in places. Two dead goblins. Okay, so make me... So you wanna make a strength check or disable the Wait, check? first, um, if the door is splintered, I should be able to look through it. I know, it's not like... The, the wood is quite thick. It's yeah, then I'm just gonna... Yeah. Um, knock a hole in it. I'll, I'll try and, the I'll try and disable devices as well. Oh, wait, hold on, are you gonna knock a hole just for the wood to look through? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you can manage that fine. Uh, inside, you, you look in and you can see a haggard but mighty looking horse. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. His legs are Tied, I think. Yeah, it's like they're tied uh, together. Um, and as soon as you you open the door, like his eyes, which look worn and tired, lock onto you, and it begins neighing angrily and chomping. His I teeth. am going to try and use my wild empathy. <laughs> Dear God! Feel free to. <laughs> you roll one d twenty plus three to determine the wild empathy check result. Are Domestic. You... Yep. Are you, just, is this, are you just gonna go straight up? You're not gonna do anything that you think would help you yeah, appeal to this wretched looking animal. There's actually a, a question I have. have. Uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. you, you, Dante, you are an urban ranger, right? Yep. So I think having the wild empathy is kind of. Well, no, because um, it can be used on. It's, it's just called wild empathy, but it okay. can be used on domesticated animals like a dog or a horse or a. Cow mm, and okay. things, um, and there's a big penalty to do it on magical beasts. But you can do it on magical beasts. Uh, yeah, to influence magical oh. beasts with an intelligence score of one or two, but you take a minus four on the check. Nice. So d twenty plus three to see if I can try and cam. So I'm sort of. Yeah, describe to me what you're doing here. Um, like I've got rations on me. Part of that rations would I have an apple, or some sugar. <laughs> Yeah, you have food or probably carrot. to give it, yeah. Or carrot or something. Uh, you can also so look into Borgut's backpack, he has like all the horse, horse <laughs> snacks and stuff. That's true. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I try and like offer it a carrot, but I'm doing it nice and slowly okay. and relaxed. I've got my hands up so it can see what I'm doing. Okay, so your normal check is plus three. Yeah. So please make d20 plus 13. Oh, nice. He, he has like the squeaking. Oh! <laughs> so, yeah, so I do like you reach your hand forward all gently and here's proffer and a carrot. You know, the horse just <laughs> lashes I'm out. not reaching it forward, so I've got his hand in my mouth. I'm slowly moving towards it. Yeah. Well, no, the door's still locked, so all you've got is a small hole in the, in the door. Oh, yeah, it's right enough. Fine. So, so you're proffering the carrot through it, and you know, you feel yeah. barely your fingers avoid the, the snapping jaws as it takes a carrot from you and then like it comes back trying to bite your fingers off but you've retracted them very quickly seems like you've failed to calm the animal well I think we're gonna try and disable the device on the outside of the door okay I'm not sure if it's tied up I should, I should double check yeah check it check that first I would be able to see that surely uh, calm the horse down Can you not? Uh, oh no, no, have... no! As 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 not tied up. Okay. Wow. Mm. What an idea! Is, uh... Let's see what I'm going to do. Well, we should kill it. 
Yeah. I don't you know. Barbie but the guy that said the guy that say this was a uh, um uh like a cool horse. Like it was All a All right, good horse. he said that was his horse. Yeah. We should Bring it probably back shouldn't. somehow and I'm get pretty the sure he said he didn't, like he didn't even need it back. I'm pretty sure he was like, He said, know. we can keep it. Uh, he said, I can keep it. Yeah, that's right. He told Bargett. He said, I yeah. can keep it? Wow. Nice. Yeah, when, uh, yeah. <laughs> when Bargett was buying his horse, he think <laughs> yeah. I told him about then it. The, it was. Uh, the guy doesn't want the horse back and it seems hostile as fuck. We should just lay it to rest. I'm sure his leg is broken somehow and <laughs> can just shoot it. <laughs> 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 yeah, put the horse down. Yeah, uh, let's have a look. See if you, know, any... you can't use handle animal as well. By the way, you don't just need wild empathy. I'm pretty sure yeah. bird is high handle handle animal. I don't think I do handle. Animal. I have a seven on handle animal. Good. I don't, don't have handle animal. Offer some food as well. Could try and intimidate the horse. <laughs> I could do that too. Let's have a look both, both of you do think this is a mighty like even as ragged and barely conscious as it is, both of you think you know compared to Fury this would be a wonderful replacement. Yeah, I wanna kill Fury. <laughs> <laughs> so would I be able to make a charisma check or a diplomacy check rather? No, that is what the wild empathy is. So but then my the... but my diplomacy is way higher than my wild empathy. Yeah, unfortunately so. So why wouldn't I use diplomacy rather than wild empathy? Because wild empathy lets you Use diplomacy on animals. That's basically why it's. Oh. So diplomacy is against people when wild yeah. empathy. Okay. It does say though in diplomacy though it's a creature. Yeah. Does that not include animals? No. Otherwise, wild empathy would be the mostly useless skill on the planet. That's a fair point. Hmm. I'm gonna try and offer it another carrot. Okay. You don't get to try again. I'm pretty sure. Do you get diplomacy? Let's see if you get to try a diplomacy check again. More, you cannot use it more than once in a twenty-four hour period. <laughs> ah, we'll we'll come back tomorrow and try and do this, Cray. <laughs> We're staying the night anyway. If you do yeah. offer another card, it does, you know, again angrily and aggressively take it out of your hand and swallow it quickly. Does seem to be in a poor state. Why should why should we? Yeah, um, I'll leave. Okay. We so Gray just walks out over the bridge again, leaving Barkett behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, um, no, actually, wait, is that a door as well? Ah, uh, yes. Can we open that? Yes, you can. I think these are going to be trapped and I'm not going to be reading. Uh, let's see. C 17. Oh, Shells sure lined with crude tools, nets, and tack for goblin dogs line the wall here. To the northeast stands a large L shaped wooden cage that contains dozens of rabbits! Yay! <laughs> rabbits, like, we have something to eat! Yeah, we have dinner tonight then. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think I'll take a couple of ra rabbits and wring their neck and for yeah. kicking. Yeah. Nom, nom nom, tasty stuff. Skin them, um, etc. Also, I can I get Fury to here? Just over the bridge? I don't yeah. think so. Um, no, she can't fit in the horns. The 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 horns. I mean, you'd have to to handle animal or to try and yeah. get over here. Yeah, and though. also I think Fury doesn't like Cray. Yeah. Just because she's a pretentious bitch. <laughs> Beauty is standards, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna put Borga on her or something? Hmm. Damn, we're, we're trying to heal Borga as well. Yeah. She's, she's, she's hurling Borga over fu on Fury and slap her on the ass and at the right off in the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Try to healing check Bogart. Can we do I that first? Ah, uh, yes. Do first aid. Wow, this is going to be very, very, very bad. I can do it. Nice. Damn, nice. First aid, yes. I don't do anything really. Damn, <laughs> <first> <laughs> 
I kind of help a little, but more in the way. Yeah. That's, yeah. Oh no, that's, that's for it. that's for making him stable. He's already stable. You already did that. Uh, yeah. So that's your long term care. Tonight, when he sleeps, he'll. Uh, assuming you keep caring for him, he'll regain double. But yeah, I kick, it, kick him, him in the shin. And just... So how much do I get? Two. Nothing. You don't get anything right now. Why yeah. did he roll then? It's just for the night. Because that, yeah. Okay. And then we lay and rest. I'll right, keep watch. Right there. Well, in the bedroom at the back, I'd imagine we'll put Borgit on the bed. Not gonna go back, to, you know, and get the clay. Cray's gonna sit on the room. throne. Oh. We're not gonna go into the cellar. <laughs> not that no. no yeah, I I'm. I'm gonna try and get like some something to put in front of the doors. Yeah, I'm also try and barricade the doors. At some point, I go out and say, "Yeah, Fury is still there," and go back inside. Do you think he should leave? So, is disable device still the same thing that would you would use to set a trap? Ah, uh, no. no. How would so you set a trap? Ranger traps. You need a feat. Um, ah. And pretty sure rogues can do it as well. Yeah, uh, there but, I need, but I need the ability for it first. And you may set a trap just fucking randomly. OP. Uh, let's see what. Okay, now I have to ring to go down. I really think you guys should not stay. Uh, because this will be sad if y'all die. <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm reading this further. So, all the time, Ross tells us we should never. You know, stay at a place because it's. You know, every normal every normal person would go back to the city to heal up, or just not leave, just go on. It really get like a bit bruised. So um, I don't know. I think he's doing some foreshadowing <laughs> right here. Uh, uh, um, well, we can yeah. leave up to Dante. Wait, what? Sorry, I wasn't. I was reading something. What were you saying? Sorry. Well, I can. Borgert is unconscious right now, but um, Ross is doing some foreshadowing right now, so um, I guess we should take his advice and leave. Well, if we're staying for another sort of 24 hours, then I'll try again with the horse to try and calm it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who is keeping first watch then? I'll stay up all night. Do you shut okay. the doors? Wait, so where do you? Please put me. Yeah, we shut the doors and we also lock the doors if possible. We shut, lock, and barricade the doors. <laughs> and if possible. What doors do you do? Um, all of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We okay. lock all of the lockable doors, and okay. we um, we shut, uh, we barricade this door. Well, but the door, okay. You're barricading that door. And the one in the back, this over here, I think it was. I don't want to move all the way. Okay. The, the two doors with the stairs down. Fair and well. the main gate, if possible. But you not. We won't barricade the main I'm gate. Sure you destroyed the main gate when you came in, didn't you? Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dante, I think we should. Uh, while Borgut is back there, um, we should stay in this room. Just because it's the central hub, we can see er everything from here. This room? With the gold dead goblins in? Yeah, we clean out the dead go goblins. Where do you for. put the dead goblins? Um, what's this? Um, uh, they uh, can just carry them out and throw them off the There were a couple of rooms here, weren't they? In the bedroom, you could put them under the yeah. We all the dogs. Where do you put them? We put them somewhere around the here. Okay. Oh yeah, we yeah we, it's closer and a bit yeah. more efficient if we just throw them off a cliff. Yeah. Really? Oh, they all fall out. Give the shark something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> and a land shark is coming close. <laughs> okay, so all the doors are closed now. Yeah. Um. I think I want to keep this one open. Very well. Can't remember what doors you wrecked. I, I, only wrecked I think we only wrecked one. 
Yeah, we only wrecked the main gate. I think we should be up at a tower. Because we can um, see everything around us, and we can barricade, and it's one door to barricade. And I can, we can see the entire way around the place, so the Britain and see the bridge and if stuff. If something happens, we can just scale down, down the wall with my rope. Roof. Yeah, and oh, jump down on top of the roof. Rip bar, get that happens. Well, Craig um, can, you know, make me smaller and carry me in a backpack or something. Like no, that. I can't. I don't have lim unlimited spells every day. Well, but in the you can sleep because Dante is staying up all night, so you can. Yeah. Yeah, but she does have to memorize spells, so. Yeah. Yeah, she can do that. Yeah, we go to this tower and just go up there and lay Borgut on the trapdoor. Something like that. No. <clears throat> Where is the tower? I can't see it. It it was somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, I think so as well. Oh, I'm in there, suddenly. Yeah, so we're in the tower now. So do you do you shut that door that led to the garden now? To the garden, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's on the outside. Uh, the garden was uh, with a roof over it. No, was it? It didn't have a roof. You could. It didn't have a roof. No. Nice. Then we gonna shut that shut that door. From the tower, you should be able to look directly into the yeah. garden. So I'll be able to keep an eye on it. I know the very well. <laughs> the doors back. Splendid. Splendid. Ah, uh, very okay. nice. Uh, so, yes. who's taking first watch? I'm taking all the watches. Okay. I'm just taking first, all watch. Second and third watch. So, as night as the sun. I mean, the sun was already setting. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember the time. Do so you remember what time it was? Good afternoon. Yeah, probably. I think I was later than that. I don't think probably. No, I Evening. think how long how long do we take to get to Thistletop? Like oh, yeah, three bet. hours. Yeah, I don't think you left so early in the morning. We left in the early in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there was this carrot vendor, you know, he wanted to do some flavor, and we took like half an hour. That's right. So as a <laughs> <laughs> so as the sun sets, uh, Dante, please make me a perception check. Oh. Nope, I see shit. Dante, Dante says a red sun uh, sings, <laughs> and then he doesn't know which red legless reference to connect to, and just shuts up. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh shit! Shut those doors as well. Okay, so what doors did you barricade again? The the door, the two doors to the basement is the only one you barricade. Did you barricade the doors into the room you're in right now? We're 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 up in no, the tower. Yeah, up in the, the tower. Yeah, the yeah, bottom yeah. doors. Did you barricade those as well or not? No. Okay. Yeah, we, but we closed it with keys, if possible. Yeah, we locked it. Yeah. So I would hear them trying to break down the door. Yeah. <laughs> them just. I've taken my earplugs out just for the record. <laughs> yeah, just on what? With your earplugs in and just I don't know a visor. And yep. just behind you, there are explosions in the woods. You know, he has, he has the, the helmet Luke Skywalker has to, you know, to train the yeah. force. Yeah. Okay, you here. Um, you have the, the visor of LeFar Burton. Make my procession check, uh, create minus 10. To see if wow. You up. And Danny, make me another one. So at minus 12, <laughs> d20 minus 12. 15. No. I don't get minus 2 to perception anymore. Oh no, that was healing, sorry. My bad. <laughs> so Danny's snoozing like a babe, uh, like a wane, and uh, you do hear, Danny, you hear some angry, not, actually, it's actually pretty loud, it's actually surprising to Danny, but I guess she's asleep and, and not Danny, crazed, you know, deep in her dreams, um, and you hear quite loud roaring and angry, Arr! You know, like that noise. Can I make a linguistics check to figure out Does what it animal sound like? It doesn't, it doesn't sound like a language, it just sounds like... <laughs> uh, um, yeah, you know what, make me a linguistic check to see if you... Recognise what animal it is. The accent. <laughs> the accent. Of the accent. Roar. <laughs> it's Spanish, my I'll make, it, I'll make it hard, yeah. 23. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, you'd think that whoever made this roar probably speaks goblin. French. 
and uh, that's all you can tell from it though. And what you you spot also you, well no you didn't actually roll that high in your perception. You don't know whereabouts in the 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 the, the compound below the roar came from. But yeah, what do you do upon hearing this? Um, nothing. I'm good. Okay. Um, we've barricaded. The, well, we've not barricaded it, but we've got Borgut lying on the trap door, so it's going to be hard to open. <laughs> well, unless they pierce through the. Yeah, um, if they start stabbing up through it, you're gone, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Make me another perception check, please. Twenty-two. Okay, so you hear activity from below. You're not sure what it is, but you do hear hear footsteps and and movement. Like directly below in the tower. No, no, not directly below from the compound. You don't hear anything below in the room below you. I. So what? What sort of stuff is up in the tower? Ah, uh, the two dead bodies of the goblins. I think that you've left here. I want to rip apart the a piece of their shirt off. Okay. In fact, I can't do that with a crossbow bolt. Could do it with an arrow. Um, I want to get a piece of cloth, wrap it round something heavy, ish. Okay. Set it on fire and throw it into the center of the the courtyard. No. Into the, where the dogs are. Yeah. Okay. The dead dogs. Oh yeah, you don't have you don't have dark vision, do you? No. So you I can't, can't see, see anything that's going on. Right, damage has been giving you penalties so well. But I've got my my glowing thing. Yeah, that's right. Is that on right now? Um, it's always on, isn't it? Well, it's, it's yeah. out. Okay. I'll it's, it's, on. It, it's in his pocket or something. Yeah, you can put it in his pocket, is what I meant. Okay, so you do have it out, and the, the beam of light is. The, the, you know, the tower it's like you're a on. Fucking lighthouse. Yeah, yeah, it's shining light out in all directions. Is that right? Uh, I suppose it is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, Wait, well. What? You're lighting a flare up in the tower where we are. So. Uh, Just yeah. guiding them to us. Make me a roll to see if you manage to throw. I, can, no. I hope you roll a one and say the tower you're in and fire. What, um, what am I rolling? Just my your ranged attack. With a let's see, so you're just you're throwing a ball. The minus two to it. <laughs> Twenty two. That's fine then. Damn! Look at those seventeens. Mm hmm. Three in a row. Ah uh, yeah, so it lands right in the midst of the. The the, the 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 goblin encampment and, and lights up, but uh, yeah, I guess you can see down into it. It seems the the light is now lit up, and you can see you know just the dead goblin bodies. You don't see any movement from in there. Okay, so another inside. And <sighs> make me another well, yeah, make me another perception check. This is a really easy one. This is annoying because <laughs> wow, that's a <laughs> So you can tell that the door, you wow. hear the door below and the and the room below slam open, and you hear you. I mean, with that twenty-two, you're hearing the grunting noise of a single being. I um, I roll Borg off the trap uh, trap door, okay. and I open the trap door and just aim down the stairs with my rifle. Are you kidding me? You're not okay. waking him. So, so, uh, oh yeah, wait, yeah, sorry, yeah. Oh, whoa, well, no, you wired! Was he opened the trap door and you looked down? Okay, very well. Uh, below, staring like directly up. Well, no, hold on, if it's a trap door. door. Just, the door's just opened. The, the yeah. door downstairs just opened. Well, yeah, yeah, and you have to move Borga off the off the guy. Off the, yeah, right, fair enough. <laughs> if he's a heavy well, enough that's, that's easy, right? You can do it with left hand. Um, like and yeah, if you open the door, you point the gun and looking up. Staring at you as a bugbear. Your long lost brother. And he. <laughs> John. He smiles like down whatever you're pointing at him. He doesn't really recognize it. And he says. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. Just. And no. in common, uh, unfortunately for you, I haven't learned Goblin overnight now, so I haven't learned it yet. Uh, <laughs> v. I have. I have. Four, I'm leveling up right now. Bum. I smell the blood of a. Human. Human. <laughs> Human. I mean, so Human. That's, 
Uh, this ugly Most creature resembles a twisted shadow puppet silhouette, a wild thing of flared black and brown fur whose pelt juts out from its body at freakish angles. The crouching shadow's ears are large and floppy. Why is it from say shadow? Draping shoulder length adding to the creature's unnatural shape. Its eyes are too big for its head. Tremendous milk white ovals loom on either side of the thing's wheezy pig like nose. Its panting mouth is filled with bristly needle teeth spider webbed and disgusting strands of yellow saliva, all vibrating to the tune of its wheezing breath. Ross, sure can I make face. a few perception checks if I notice anything about that? Ah, uh, yeah, you can make the perception check to hear him say those noises. Uh, minus how far away is he from sleeping. me? Again, at minus 10? Yeah, you're sleeping, that's the minus 10. 11. Ah, uh, let's see, I think he just, he's not showing it. I believe that's a no. You're about to wake up in a second. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. Uh, uh, how far away is he, he from me? Is, uh, how, how tall was that again, so I remember. Let's go look. My argument is, if he's six inches from the barrel of my gun, then I can't miss him. No, he's not actually there, no. He's not down the... He's, he's, he's like at, at the bottom of the stairs. He's, yeah, he's at the bottom of the stairs. And he's not Can I see him? Below. Uh... No. Well, you said he's well, staring yeah, directly that's true, in That's true, but eyes. the way the staircases look on my screen, it doesn't look like you could see him if you opened up. You'd see down the stairwell. Yeah, so you can't actually yeah. see him. But you hear okay. him. Basically, Dante just yeah. feels a menacing Yeah, presence you're pointing before. down the stair, which is this, this staircase going to, like, here is where Dante you can see. the sudden urge to wake the other one. <laughs> Um, well, as a, as um, I would argue. Well, I would say then I'm gonna get a sneak attack on him because he d he knows I'm there, but he doesn't know that I'm aiming a shot at him and waiting for him to round the corner. Are, are you gonna? So your plan is to sit and wait for him to come round the corner. Yeah. Okay. Uh make me a stealth check. Uh, what is my stealth? I'm pretty sure I upped I'm it. I'm sure he will not hear you breathing, but you never know. Wow. Maybe he will. Damn. <laughs> no, <Anyone>? you won't. <laughs> and I would like to remind you, you do have a giant beacon. Your the stairwell is now filled with light because you opened the trap door. Yep. So yeah, he does. He, well, you don't know if he spotted you. As you you line up, you try and be really quiet. The, well, the how huge... can he see me? No, no, no. How can he see me if he's not physically looking? How can he see me? Well, he he knows that there's something. This to is this is yeah. This yeah. is whether he expects someone round the corner to be pointing. Now that the the light well has filled with stairwell, with filled with light when it was previously dark. It could be moonlight. It's yeah. not. Doesn't sudden look like moonlight. moonlight. Just, yeah. Sudden he moonlight. The and suddenly. <laughs> yeah. Well, he knows the trap door's open. He doesn't know I'm he sitting does, waiting at the top. He does. And that's what the check was for. You no, know, last week <sighs> I took a stroll to the park. Then suddenly moonlight. So yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Again, pretend I did the description again as stepping round the corner as this creature. As and shit he... as he steps round, as part of him is round the corner. Okay. So I get my sniper's eye. Sure, that's, yeah, okay, concealment. Wait, do you want him to have concealment? Because you still get a miss chance, you know. If he has concealment, you have a miss chance. Mm. What is the miss chance? 20% on partial five. concealment. 1 in 5. Hmm. And then you would get your sneak attack regardless, yes. He is a goblinoid as well, isn't he? He has a goblinoid, yeah. Vindabar. He's a fucked up goblin. Yeah. A full bar goblin. Hmm. No, I'll just take a shot at him. I'm not going to wait for the concealment. Okay, so this, this staircase with the trap door open is about 15 feet. Cool. Goes up 15 so foot and 15 foot again. Cool. He's been 30 feet then, so I get my plus yeah. one. That's right. So you're um, going to wait for him to come round the corner and not get a sneak attack then? Or what well, did you say I wasn't listening? Yeah, I'm going to wait for him to come round the corner. Okay, he comes round the corner, he looks up, he's got... This this creature is wielding um a, a huge flail in one hand, and uh, you know what, let's send you a picture of him. Uh, it's actually, no, actually, maybe he has his bow out, I don't know. As soon as he comes around the corner, freeze, motherfucker! <laughs> surprise, surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, and for people at home, this is what he looks like. Charming looking fella. Okay, so yes, please, so you want to fire, okay, roll to it. 
Oh, misfire. Oh. <laughs> you misfire. Uh, you're, what happens on a misfire again? Nothing bad, right? Nothing bad, no. So your gun, just the, the, the mechanisms in this, you know, high piece of technology clinks and I told you to fucking leave! I told you, you haven't even woken up, Cray! And, uh, the, you know, the clinks and... Oh, no, the gunpowder would still go off, but the bullet wouldn't come out. Yeah, so, so it explodes and you hear, you know, okay, fine, sure. The, the stick makes boom. And, and Cray, you're, you're shocked. Wait, well, actually, roll me. <laughs> no, you wake up. I'll see you wake up. Uh, and, you know, this sound like an explosion goes off here and, you know, birds fly out of the woods across the... across the... The, the place and you know he looks up and he doesn't seem face at all as nothing happens <laughs> Ross, Ross this guy in the picture doesn't look like anything I imagine from your description <laughs> okay well my bad I did I read the, the previous I read the description I thought it was like some skinny oh yeah I guess that's thing with enough. needle sharp you know kind of like a deep sea fish kind of goblin yeah Please roll initiative for me, Danny. Well, I was going to say, as part of, after I fire my shot as a move action, I just want to close the trap door. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> as that was a surprise, and right? Then we're going to have the open closed door. It was yeah, no, action. that's fine. Cree, please make me initiative rolls. Well, you've woken up, but in this turn, you will be waking up, so you won't get into this turn. Well, All right, Danny. Anyway. Yes, initiative anyway. Damn, he's going to go first. Damn. So yeah, he has his fillet. Good job not pressing your token or using the macro cray. Yeah, shit. You're the best. He charges um, roaring monstrously. Well, he can't can't exactly charge up a trap he door. Can charge, <laughs> he can charge up a trap door, Ross. You're on right, right. It's not like, so the, the staircase goes up to the trap door and then you're like peeking and staring out the hole of the trap door. So he's, he's going to be still underneath the trap door. But, but how he's going to swing up with his And wheel. hit the roof? No. And you're go through up the trap it. door. The trap door's open. How big's this trap door? I don't know. Five if, you're five swinging five. Over, if you're swinging <laughs> overhand from behind you, the I flail's just going to stick in the roof. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Well, too. then he. Okay, well. Fine, then he doesn't charge. He just climbs the trap door. No, I'm not going to let him. What do you mean you're not going to let him? <laughs> if, if, you're, if I'm standing in front of the trap door and he's char trying to climb a ladder, you would, I would kick him down. Ross, that's the guy. I kick him down. I don't know if you've got a range weapon in your hand, you don't get a tax opportunity. I can smack him with my rifle. I don't think you can do that. Well, maybe it's an improvised weapon. Well, to, okay, get make the, me... to get up the trapdoor, let's say if there's a cube of attack of opportunities around Dante, you would get an attack of opportunity before the guy stands directly no, before he's, him. He's got a ranged weapon, so he's not threatening any squares. Hold on. Ranged... <laughs> God damn it. But well, he can use his... Right, but it's not. Like, it's yeah. I could use a rifle. But he has club. brass knuckles on, so he can and always got, punch the guy. Okay, please make me knuckles, an so. attack opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> attack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. So stupid. In the fire. Okay, confirm. Confirm. Yeah. Fourteen. You do not confirm. Oh. Oh. It's a shame. So yeah, brass knuckle damage, <coughs> whatever that is. Uh, yeah. Brass knuckle damage is... 1d3 plus 3. It's not quite not quite the damage I think I need to do to drop him. <laughs> He's like, ow! <laughs> no, you hurt me, please! Oh, pain, oh, my damn. only weakness! The max damage. Yeah. Uh, and then the he steps. swings at you with his heavy flail. What? With not charging. <laughs> what? Are you, what are you complaining about now, Cree? Is he? Wait, he isn't charging. No, he's not charging. How can he climb up a ladder and attack in? Because it's one only turn? like fifteen foot away. It's not. Yeah, a... fifteen foot to the base of the ladder. The ladder, so they... yeah. No, the staircase goes up fifteen and fifteen. And then there's a trap door, like well, you, he, I the would trap imagine door he is gets not... punched as soon as he sticks his yeah. head out of the like the, the trap hole. door Doesn't is not. You know, it's basically a climbing thing, and if he if it's he gets like hit, he must the... make Except a the, climb check. The trap right? door, there's a staircase leading up to this trap door. The trap door is not on a ladder <laughs> that's like a hundred. The, the ladder is not even six foot high from this trap door. As I, t you know, 
But he's still going to well, have to use two hands to claim it and then make an attack. It seems like a lot of movement, right? No, he doesn't even need to use two hands to claim it. I'm, I am over oh, really. He's oh, attacking it's just, you. It's just a stair leading up and yeah, there's a trapdoor above it's it. Not, then the trapdoor oh. is fucking huge, man. Yeah, it's not... It's not ah, there's a, right, there's okay. a staircase on I don't know where you got a ladder from. Well, I, I assumed it was like a staircase leading up and then there's like a ladder on the wall to climb up into the tower. Yeah. No, yeah, no, didn't no. Dante have to climb up a ladder? Well, no, he didn't. That was the <laughs> other tower. No, no, he didn't. Danny didn't, because Danny, I remember, easily pushed open strength check when they were trying to make him what he no, wouldn't no. be able to do. And he, 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 bluffed, he bluffed his way in there. No, I bluffed <laughs> my way into it. Well, we, yeah. we had a misunderstanding. Ah, he's and then when they were leading down, down the hall, I stabbed them up from What's the hall. What's your AC? 19. 19. He strikes you just. Um, for 14 points of damage. I want that flail. Damn. This is a horrible map for this. So yeah, you're at the top of the staircase. He's at the bottom of the staircase, the trap door. Yeah, it's like a staircase trap door. Yeah. Which you open up. Okay. Next turn. Oh. Yeah, Bye turn. Danny's go. No, Craig's go. I've had a goal. started it yet. Yeah, but yeah. Well, Cray Santa is didn't... waking up this turn. Now it's Danny Skull. Okay. Um, I. Uh, what the hell am I gonna do? No idea. Punch him yeah. again. I haven't <laughs> had a fight in a long time. Don't forget I, about uh... combat maneuvers. You know, I imagine if somebody's tumbling downstairs, that's gonna hurt a bit. Oh yeah, like, combat maneuvers. I forgot about them. And, uh, I completely forgot we could do that. Plus, well, guy's not a small; he's a medium. Cool. So, <laughs> so, so, what things can I do? Combat maneuvers. You can make like a trip, trips check, or you can bull yeah, rush friend. someone. Or uh, remember, like if you don't have feats in it, you're often taking an attack opportunity doing these things. Yeah. yeah. And you need a weapon that can let you trip. I think no, you don't, do you? No, a trip is like you can so perform that with and without. Oh, I think the weapon having the weapon quality lets you do it. You, you think? Hmm. So they all provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah, you need feats like improved. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Doesn't or not? I am. Um... You can use a trip make weapon to make trap attacks. Okay. If you are trapped during your trap attempt, you can drop the weapon to avoid being trapped. Trip, trip, trip. So basically, for a trip, you need something with no, a you don't. No, you don't. An ankle or what? No. When when making a trap maneuver, you don't have to use. You can use any weapon at all. Yeah, I mean, you can just make a step and then push them or something. There's like an advantage. Yeah. So if if you fail by ten or more, you you end up trapped. Hmm. I am gonna try. I'm gonna drop my rifle and gonna try and stab him with my rapier. Okay. Huh? Fifteen. Unfortunately, not your your sword cuts against his his mighty. Uh, he's, let's see what armor is he wearing. Uh, his studded Chris, leather. Give me a potion. Cuts against her and it's his go again. She ran away. She ran away. He roars at you and just brings his flail down again. I mean, damn, even if he would a fucking... Okay. <laughs> Striking you hard with the flail as this, you know, this ripped muscular beast slams into you for 11 points of damage. I am unconscious for and at minus fuck's nine. Sake. For how I much damage? Think... 11, that's 11. At minus 9, are you, are you fucking kidding me? Yep. Are you kidding me? Nope, I was at 2 HP when he hit me. Damn. I thought you were more than that on your thing. Nope, I was at 2 HP when he first hit me. After the first attack. Three, you have managed to wake up and you are now capable of acting. 
you see the first thing you see is by like the trap door in the staircase all you see is this flail and this huge muscular hand slam into Dante and down he falls and that's you know your wonderful morning <laughs> waking Borg is like beside the trap door Dante's falling on him there he looks a lot meaner than the bugbears in 2.5 um sure oh he's a bugbear oh wait Ross Danny. My attack should have been at plus 10, not plus 8, because I've got a goblin, because goblin's plus 2. That's true. And, uh, and you also have high ground 17? on him. Also have high ground on him. High ground. It's high ground, yeah. It's plus over, one. Anakin. I have the high ground. Uh, on high so ground, please ah. Please hit him. Unfortunately, you do not, even with plus With three. an 18! Yeah. What?! Well, he is a goblinoid. He should be like nimble as fuck, you know. Usually, normal goblins have like 16 AC because they have plus guy, six dex bonus or something though. like that. But, but this says he's medium. Ross said he's medium, so he's not like a little goblin. He's a big goblin. Yeah, he's not going to be as dexterous. This, this guy is is tough. He's nimble. You know, mm. his stat array is like OP. <laughs> And he's also quite reasonable in argument, so maybe we can convince <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um, yeah. Uh, huh. About that. Cray, yeah, what would you like to do? That's a very good question, Ross. Fuck you. <laughs> um, I. Mmm. Mm. I cast Mage Armor on myself, take a five foot step towards him, and slash him with a minus two. Go roll to hit, plus one for high ground. He smiles as you come towards him. Did you have Mage Armor? I'm pretty sure you used that, but sure, I'll let you have it. Yeah, I can use it three times per day. I can literally have nine oh. hours of Mage Armor. <laughs> but he didn't use it, I'm pretty sure. He didn't, yeah, but we said, he I did. Did. we said he did. Oh, okay. okay. Thank goodness you've remembered. Yeah. Roll to hit, Cray. Um, as a swift action, I imbue my sword with the power of magic. Uh, so I don't get that. Magic! Magic! <laughs> um, da, 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 da. So I get plus eight minus two. I don't hit him, Ross. No, unfortunately not. And, uh... Danny, please make me a, a con check at minus <laughs> 9. Plus God. your con. Is, so what's, what's the check at? D20. Plus your con. Minus, minus, minus the HP. Yeah. Minus you, 7. You're in the minus. Or 7, or wherever you are. Yeah. You're not uh, minus 9. No, I've got a con yeah, but he has two. a plus oh, yeah, 2 right. con. So, plus, so minus 7. Yeah, and roll above a 10. Nice. I have stabilized. I'm not dead. Uh, not, not yet. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Cree, this this uh, creature uh, 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 turns towards you. Uh, and he smiles and he says, well, What have we here? Oh, uh, wait, I'll Ross. be interested in this. Yes. Do I get my level up HP? No. Because I slept. You didn't sleep long enough. Well, how, how much HP is it? It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a lot, you don't. Um, 4 HP. Okay, yeah, you can have extra 4 HP. Um, well, by that logic, I should have an extra 3 HP. You didn't go to sleep. Oh, you didn't sleep. Oh, yeah, neither I did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit. I don't... Uh, let's see. <laughs> so, you know, he looks at you and that's... Yeah, okay, so he, um, you can tell that on this swing of the, the, the flail, he's not trying to hit you as hard as he's trying to hit, he tried to hit Danny. What? Um, why? why? You, you'll see. Because you'll see, you're see. a human. No. Because he's a berserk, maybe. Uh, and, you know, he, as he swings out, wow, actually, maybe not. Hold on, let me double check the rules for this. Maybe I'll just make him do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Yeah. He spits acid directly into your face! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, he, he, 
he oh, no actually no not not this time the first time he uh he just slams into it while he attacks with his with his uh heavy flail but uh I don't know the footing or, or attacking at up, up an angle has, has set him off a little bit and instead of, of attacking you his heavy flail becomes lodged in the floor of the the, the tower did you oh, know that, that, that it happens. One, yeah <laughs> step step on it create it's your goal um he run angrily i grunt back well it, at uh, the sword, at the uh, his heavy flail became stuck in the the thing. No, I, um, um, I ask an orc, "Do you speak orc?" But I don't don't do that as a full round action. He does. He does not speak orc. See, so he, he looks at you. Should speak to him. He was speaking common, by the way. The fee five for thumb. Yeah, yeah, fuck common. And when he said no, Ali, I will be interested in you. Common is for oh. commoners. Wait, I'm also surprised, no? Right? I say, "Holy fuck, Batman!" and cast true strike. Okay. Then I strike. <laughs> Natural one incoming. Uh, roll D twenty minus two plus twenty plus eight. <laughs> well, I think let's you see. Hat here. How much is this AC? Thirty nine. Strike him solidly. Um. Plus twenty, plus twenty six total. That's nuts. <laughs> give give Borgert a few levels and he will be on the same page. <laughs> plus twenty six total. I already have plus ten to hit. Um, with I think she can change other ones. people's weapons. So, um, what's your what are you attacking with again? Your rapier? No, my I don't have a rapier. Oh, whatever. That's Danny. I have a longsword plus one. Um, so we also got plus one for that, yeah. Forty, still not a crit. <laughs> if only this was uh, eleven damage. Second edition. Okay, he takes the blow. I just suddenly my blade become becomes vibrating with magic, and I just slash him, and it ignores his armor and just yeah, goes. it just pierces straight in the his, his his unarmed spot, and he tries to dodge, but he fails. And uh, he can't fa he can't dodge. Yeah, the that's what I mean. Blade yeah. basically follows him. Yeah, follows his dodge. The magic strikes true, amazingly true strike. Oh. On his <laughs> turn, uh, <laughs> as a move action, he attempts to retrieve his flail. Please make an attack opportunity on him. Gladly, Ross. He successfully retrieves the flail. Seventeen. You successfully miss. With a high ground. Oh, yeah, 18 ground. missed, yeah. Uh, and he... So he's, he's got his flail retrieved, and he looks at you, and he says, A wizard do we have here? And he strikes again, and he says, Very interesting. Strike, what's your AC? Ask, ask his name. Try to, try, to, try to direct the conversation in a different direction. Strikes you for 12 <laughs> points of damage. For 12 points of damage? Yes. Um... <laughs> Cree, how much HP do you have? Well, Not uh, enough. So, at what, <laughs> Ross, at what point would the referee chip in and stop the fight or something like that? Ross, how Jesus does comes it? down. Uh, he. Not. He doesn't. Maybe. Uh, he still looks fairly okay. Maybe. He does look pretty wounded, but he doesn't look like he's. He's, you know, he's gonna die uh, on your next hit, but you never know. Maybe half. Maybe half. Maybe a little under half. Um, let me see. I have no so spells left, by the way, so... <laughs> Kree uh, jumps the wall of the... Kree, did you uh, not put the Cloak of Protection on? Just out of curiosity. Cloak did, of yeah. Resistance. Yeah. Cloak of Resistance, sorry. Yeah, that gives our plus one to our saves, yay! Oh, I thought it was an AC bonus. Unfortunately not, no. That's, not, that's unfortunate. Um, hmm. So, it would be, it's like you're 35 foot up, by the way, so if you did want to jump out, it would be 3 Yeah, I'd, I'd jump out. Okay. I, 
make a withdraw action and just backflip out of the tower. <laughs> uh, you don't have acrobatic ring on, do you? Yeah, you I do. do. Okay, so That's you land <laughs> without I'm consequence. Damn. Where do you, so you're now? I'm the ring bearer, Ross. Where'd you like to go? The um, bearer of many rings. You still have many rings. I run. Oh, wait, I'd have to see. How far can I run? Uh, 90 feet, I think it is. Three times your movement. That's withdraw, no, which is, is a, it's just move twice, so you've moved. I suppose, yeah, I suppose as far as you can get in this turn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you see him pop out and look down, but uh, his head's there, and on his turn, he's very slowly and very casually, like he could do it in a move action, but he's decided to take his time with it, brings out a longbow that's on his back, and strings it, and just waits. Uh, Is his name Lutz? Lutz. No, unfortunately <coughs> not. You saw his name on the, the image, I sent you. Cree, it's your goal. Well, Ross. How fast can I run? Uh, <laughs> Later. Four times your movement. Uh, no, three. Three times your movement. I think. Three times my movement. I'm gonna and do you that. you lose your dex bonus. I'm very okay with that. Run. Let's, Let's see. While running, you move. No, four times your movement. Cray, remember what happened when I tried to run across the bridge? Yeah, Just Cray saying. is. But really, she's really light. Yeah, the, the hole is there. But yeah, I can there is a hole. Over the bridge, yeah. There might second. be another hole. You never know. Well, she has night vision, so. It was at the end of the bridge. No, the bridge, so. the hole was like there. I have, I can't see anything. So my movement is what, 20 feet? No, what? Well, it's your normal movement theory, so you can move 120 feet. God damn it, you can get away. Uh, is that bridge? Yeah, that is bridge. <laughs> so that's 30. Oh shit, you're gonna get out of the line of sight, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna. He was cocky. That's plan. Could have shot you this round. 60. Uh, one hundred and three times my movement. Mm -hmm. Four, yep. four times. Ah, nice. <laughs> you're you're oh, under you the you're brambles gone. now. You're under the brambles now. Yeah. Okay. Run! Holy shit! It took me six seconds to just. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very fast. <laughs> Uh, Dante can see me. No one can see me. But... Yeah, Borg and Dante, I think, are getting. Oh, what? Hmm? Okay. You're dead. Okay. What are the rest of you guys doing? Ah, uh, no. Sorry, <laughs> 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 that crazy. <laughs> this is all. Okay, on that, note, on, that note, on that note, on that note, we will so... take our first break here. Uh, with Cray <laughs> fleeing into the brambles. Um, I'm walking. I'm walking through a cornfield right now. You know, yeah, playing with my hands. And, uh, That's very yeah. Good. And yeah, join us all next time. Wasn't better not to leave, but where we people don't just... fucking listen to me when I tell them to leave. Thank you. I can't do anything, man. Bye. Why? Why the fuck did Dante open the trapdoor?